Um, the reason I've been hard to track down is because I've been 6,000 miles away. I've been in Yokohama. Um, I've got a long-term collaborator out there, Jeremy. We were both uh, postdoctoral researchers together and we still sort of scientifically collaborate. And I'd go out there about once a year. Um, so I was flown out ostensibly to give a lecture at Kyo University in Tokyo, which is a big prestigious university, um, but also to collaborate with him. And while I was there, we managed to catch up with loads of people. I was sort of went out with you know the dean of the medical school at, T at Keo, um to sort of discuss a variety of big projects there. I caught up with one of our uh, master's students uh, from here, Masayuki, who works for the Cow Corporation. Slight downside was it was 35 degrees out there. Um, it was hot even for the Japanese, typical Japanese summer, and you could tell that on the express train down from the airport. The normal Japanese dress code for the businessmen had gone. It was all short sleeve sleeves and open necks, and everybody was trying to stand under the air conditioning and not move slowly outside. So I spent sort of basically 10 days in my shorts, uh, just trying to rehydrate at absolutely every opportunity. You're still in your shorts now. I'm still in my shorts now, yes, yes. You can do certain amounts on the phone, and I tend to have, you know, every couple of weeks and about an hour on the phone with Jeremy where we discuss sort of a variety of projects, areas and things like that. But there is nothing like personal contact still. The Japanese are incredibly hospitable, so they'll, they'll like the opportunity to take you out and to entertain you with a meal, uh, meal out and things like that. But also, like most things, like in this country, you, you go down to the pub <laughs> with the scientists. It's where a lot of the real science gets done. You know, you, the pad and the paper will come out and people will start scribbling on it. Uh, and, and it's so much more personal than email and, and phone, uh, just making that contact and so, also cementing that contact as well. I think there's always a slight tendency of the dare when they serve you the food because, uh, they, I mean, I've been using chopsticks for years. Uh, about 30 years ago, my father went abroad to do a lot of uh, business with his company, the company he worked for, and he came back with chopsticks and taught us all how to use them. So I've been, you know, I can eat very happily with chopsticks, so that always surprises them. And secondly, is because I've had sushi now going out there for about 10 years, is that I will try that. So uh, in the sushi bars, they're always incredibly surprised that I don't turn down an opportunity to eat, you know, whatever they've given me. But I mean, there's a few things they do serve up, um, sort of, you know, various bits of squid in something's juices. Um, it's all raw, and you just have to smile, and um, because you know it's it's probably been given to you as a little bit of a challenge.